In this question, we're given a correct Lewis dot diagram for an iron of an element in period two that formed according to the octet rule. And if we look at our diagram, we can see we've got eight valence electrons shown in our shell and a charge of minus one. So the first question asks, how many electrons did the neutral atom gain or lose to become an iron? So if it has a charge of minus one, that means it's gained a negative electron. So this one has gained one electron to gain a charge of negative one. So what group is this element in? So going to look at our periodic table, we figured out our shortcut based on the group that something was in. So we figured out that anything in group one loses one electron and therefore becomes more positive, it gets a charge of plus one. Anything in group two loses two electrons, so it becomes more positive and gains a charge of plus two. And anything in group 13 loses three electrons and becomes more positive and so gains a charge of plus three. On the other hand, anything in group 15 is going to gain three electrons and electrons are negatively charged, so they're gaining a negative charge of negative three. Anything in group 16 is gaining two electrons, so it's gaining a negative charge of negative two. And anything in group 17 needs to gain one electron, which is negatively charged, so it's getting a charge of negative one. So since we know this has a charge of negative one and it gained one electron, it must be something in group 17. So our group here must be group 17. So what element does this iron belong to? Well, we know that it's in period two and group 17, so we can now go and have a look. If we have something in period 17, it must be in this column, and something in group two, which is this row, that lands us on fluorine. So what element is this? It must be fluorine. And so the final thing we can add to our Lewis dot diagram is the symbol which goes in the middle there. So it's important to remember we're mainly using our trick, which is that groups one, two, and 13, they have to lose electrons, thus becoming positively charged when they form ions with charges of one, two, and three respectively and group 15, 16, and 17 need to gain electrons, thus becoming more negatively charged with charges of negative three, negative two, and negative one respectively. That's our shortcut that we can use in these problems.